metal. Echoes from asteroid Tutatis produced images of a rocky, cratered surface and a wobbling, tumbling spin. Uh, every single one of these objects that we've made a shape model of is very different. This is Tutatis. From a telescopic smudge of light to a 3D shape model, radar gave them physical details and the first clear idea of what asteroids are really like. In the year 2000, the radar movie crew developed a dark and mysterious new image. Asteroid 1950DA. A big rock that gave everybody a bit of a shock. Once we got the radar data, we began the normal process of just seeing how far in the future we could predict this thing before the uncertainties in the orbit blur out. And in this case, we could go over uh, 880 years into the future. And what was startling about that case was uh, the impact probability turned out to be non-zero. Non-zero means there is a chance this rock could hit us. On March the 16th, in the year 2880, 1950 DA will cross the Earth's orbit. Will it hit us? The odds? 1 in 300. If 1950 DA does hit the Earth, the most likely point of impact would be at sea. Of all the big asteroids discovered thus far, this is the most dangerous one we know. Eric Asfaug and Stephen Ward have created a computer model of the impact. Yeah, it's kind of funny how this started. Uh, it was with that, the movie Deep Impact, and uh, I was getting phone calls. Lots of people were getting phone calls about the movie, whether it was accurate, the, the, the cresting tsunami coming across. The concept here is that uh, this asteroid, which is about a kilometer across, will hit the ocean at 17 thousand miles per hour and it'll blow a hole in the ocean about 19 kilometers across and all the way to the bottom and so when this huge hole of water gets blown in, into the ocean the water will run back in again and it overshoots and it collapses and overshoots many many times and each time it pumps out a wave so it starts out hundreds of meters high comes ashore on the coast of North America at about 50 60 meters up toward Canada Grand Banks it's about 40 meters 20 meters here in the coast of South America, and about 15, 20 meters, all the way over to Europe. These waves would run inland about four kilometers. So pretty much everything within four kilometers from the beach would be covered up repeatedly. And so we'd pretty much be wiped away like, a, like a, you're scrubbing the floor. You know, just scrub like this, and it's pretty much be all be carried back out. In February 2001, a NASA spacecraft called Near Schumacher made the first ever landing on a chunky, pockmarked rock named after the Greek god of love. Asteroid 433 Eros is 33 kilometers long and 13 kilometers wide. One of the